Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at some unlucky people who found out their boyfriend cheated on them. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on Okay, so I've made like three of these already, but um, I guess I've been cheated on a lot. Oh my god, so she's had to make three of these already? R.I.P. to her, like, love life. That is awful. Like, it's bad enough getting cheated once, imagine it happening three times to you. His cousin and his cousin's girlfriend came over to my apartment and stayed the night, and um, then in the morning they left. Okay, so his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend came over. Please don't tell me he done it with his cousin or his cousin's girlfriend. He's really gonna kill two birds with one stone. So, the next day she was messaging my boyfriend his cousin's girlfriend was messaging my boyfriend and um he was still logged in on my phone so you better went for them messages honestly expose them Jonah would be so savage i've got a feeling i know what happened but imagine if she went with his cousin now that is one way to start a new chapter of your life i was pretending to be him and i'm like what's up and she's like oh can we talk just you and me and i was like pretending to be him sure and she's like i just wanted to know i thought you loved mimi I'm Mimi. And um, I put, I do. And she's like, well, then why did you have sex with me last night? Oh my God, so we done it while the cousin was there. How could you even do that? Like, I'm trying to think of it. You couldn't do it in the same bed, surely. Nah, I'm actually not taking the mickey. I need more people like this in my life because they're messy. I need the drama. When everyone was sleeping. Oh, when everyone was asleep. I feel bad for her. Like, imagine that happening to you. You lost your boyfriend and he literally done it with his cousin's girlfriend. I'm telling you, you need to dump that boyfriend and get with the cousin immediately. So, my ex and I were, like, already on, like, some pretty rocky terms. And basically, we were supposed to hang out this day and I hadn't heard anything from him all day. So, I texted his mom because I was super close to this family. I said, hey, like, I'm gonna come over. Like, I'll see you guys soon. And she's like, oh my god, like, I'm so excited to see you. He has a friend over right now. They should be gone soon. I was like, oh, just probably the boy is playing video games. It probably wasn't the boys it was another girl i mean the family seems really sweet i think it's so cute whenever like obviously people are in a relationship but if like their family like treats them as if they were one of their own children i think that's so sweet i don't think that's gonna happen to me because i feel like i'm really yappy and like my boyfriend's family is eventually gonna hate me one day i don't even have boyfriends so i don't know what i'm on about that was not the case so i get there i say hi to his mom i say hi to his sister and they're like oh like his friend's still over but just go upstairs and like knock like that's fine oh my god wait so they don't actually know if it's a boy or girl they just know if friends over don't go upstairs and don't knock because i know exactly what they're gonna be doing i walk in and he's sleeping with another girl icing on the cake is this girl i was told not to worry about because they had a snap streak and they had been talking for like weeks on end he's like just a friend from school i was like okay whatever they always seem to say that they're always like oh don't worry about her and then they cheat with the don't worry about her girl thinking about it now i do have to have a few snapchat streaks not like with weird people just like some of my friends if i get a boyfriend am i gonna have to lose them streaks maybe with the boys but not with my best friend marina we've got a 200 day streak and that streak ain't going anywhere the only thing i said in that moment was ew it had to be this one and that's on having trust issues now i mean you know oh i feel bad for her i bet you the girl knew as well like she probably knew i'm telling you some of these boys and girls are scum i was seeing this guy and we'd gotten into a fight and i wanted to make it up to him so i bought him a single flower and i went to his house his light was on, but he wasn't answering his phone and there's no doorbell down on street level. So do you know what you have to do? You climb for his window. Okay, so if you thought straight guys were bad, gay guys are even worse. Like gay guys are savages. I don't even want to think about lesbians. Like if gay guys are like this, I'm telling you, lesbians will actually be like, they'll be next level. He lived above a business. And so I was throwing stones at his window. I was missing and missing. It was so high up. And then finally one of his roommates came down and saw me. It was like, oh, Zach, yeah, just go on up. He's up in his room. So I went up. And there's going to be another man there. And also came and they're literally still in a relationship like they had an argument. Is that a thing that people do if you get in an argument you go and hook up with someone else? I hope it isn't. And as I was getting closer I just felt this like energy. Oh my god yeah I know what he means because that's happened to me before if certain like things have happened. Do you ever like get a weird vibe when you go somewhere like you get like a thought in the back of your head where it's like I shouldn't be here something's gonna happen. That is a real thing. It's a do for like the universe and manifestation like energy levels. I mean that's why you always have to put out good stuff and hopefully you'll get it back. I open up the bedroom door and he's riding the dude and he looks at me and <laughs> his jaw just dropped oh my god I mean, your sender was too good, but I hope you're not in a relationship anymore. You literally got in an argument and he cheated on you. I mean, being LGBT and trying to find someone is hard enough, but imagine them doing that to you. Okay, so I'm at work one night and I get a text from one of my classmates that says, hey, did you and your boyfriend break up? And I'm like, no, like we're still living together. We've been together three years. As far as I know, we're good. I'm just at work. And she's like, well, he's at the bar right now and he's been dancing with this stripper all night. Oh God, that ain't good, is it? Yeah, that ain't good. but. 
props to like that girl for like messaging the girlfriend. They might not be close, but like, you know, at least she like let her know. If my boyfriend was doing that, I'd absolutely want to know. Like, who does he think he is dancing in other people like that? And then he just took her home and I did take a video of her getting into his truck just in case you two were still dating and you want to see who it was. And we're in like a really small town. So I'm like, yeah, send it to me because one of my best friends is a stripper and she knows all of the strippers in this town. And I bet you it's going to be that best friend, isn't it? This is why I have to be so careful with who you're like friends with, dating and your family, etc. You know, the people who say they've got your back are actually the biggest snakes ever. It was my best friend. Oh God, so she's lost her boyfriend and her best friend. Damn double homicide. I was working my fourth shift at a brand new job I had just gotten because my fiance and I had moved to his hometown to be closer to his family, which was halfway across the country from my family. Okay, so she's moved halfway across the country to be closer to her fiance's family. And I bet you the fiance is the one who's cheated. My best friend calls me and this is my best friend that our mothers have been friends so long that they were pregnant with us together. Please don't tell me it was the best friend, was it? Oh my God, so not only is she possibly gonna lose her boyfriend and and her best friend. That best friend's also probably gonna ruin her mom and her mom's relationship. I'm telling you, these men are taking out about 50 people at a time. Like, we were raised as sisters. We're a couple of weeks apart in age. Raised with, like, family. I ignore the call because I was at work. Eventually she calls me again, and then her husband calls me, and that's when I started to get worried because she was pregnant, and I thought maybe something could be wrong. She's gonna be pregnant with her husband's baby. I know it. I've called it. Is it gonna be right, though? Then her husband proceeds to tell me about the naked pictures that he found that my fiance and his wife were sending back and forth. My fiance and I were both in their wedding. Okay, so that was the end of that. I don't know if the baby was like the, the husband's baby or whatever, but that's so bad, isn't it? Oh my god, this is why you have to be so careful. I've said it about 50 times, but be careful who you trust. So the craziest way that I found out somebody's cheating on me, and granted this was my ex-husband, was when I came home at about I think it was like 2 in the morning, and you Usually I'd work a little bit later at work, but this day I had gotten off just a slight bit earlier. And I came home and I put out the trash can and then I came walking in and it was weird because he had like looked out the window and then dipped. And usually he would come out and say, hey, you know, oh, you're home. Okay, so he's looked out and he's dipped because someone else is there. Also, isn't it so sad that whenever people get married, they think they're going to stay with each other forever. And then you have to like break off that marriage and whenever you get like divorced, you know, half of the stuff has to get split. The house might go to someone, the car might go to someone, the kids. It's the dogs. Yeah, this is why I'm just gonna live my single free life. Well, he went into the back room and I came into the house to find some girl's um, purse and she was in the middle of my living room and apparently she was in the bathroom. So do you wanna what you're gonna do? Storm into that bathroom, ask her to get out and start screaming at your husband. He came out of the back room whenever I walked in the house and he was like, uh, what, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, who's here? And he goes, oh, it's just Kara, my friend. You know, she she's just cutting my hair and I was like, like, which hair? Your pubic hair? He was probably bald, wasn't he? I mean, they always make up the worst excuses ever. It's kind of like Chris Hansen Predators whenever they get caught. They get caught in the moment and they're like, oh my god, oh my god, let's think of a lie. Let's think of a lie. Like, literally doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm just gonna lie to try to get myself out of it. My first serious girlfriend cheated on me. My second serious girlfriend that I was engaged to cheated on me. Found out they cheated the exact same way. Oh my god, yet again, double homicide. I'm telling you, the men and men relationships are bad, but the women and women relationships are even worse. Like, they are actually sad. Savage. The crazy part is my second girlfriend, the my fiance knew about how I found out my first girlfriend cheated and still I caught her the same exact way. If y'all don't know, your text messages link to your iPad from your Apple account. So when you're out texting and hoeing around your iPads at home, I know what you're doing, bitch. I know what you're doing and that's how I found out that they both cheated on me. Something like that kind of happened to me and my dad. It wasn't like to do with that. But basically whenever I was younger, obviously I had an Apple ID. It was under my dad's email because I wasn't like old enough to make one. I remember one time I was at a concert. I think it was a X Factor concert. What was it? It was some sort of concert and basically someone texted me and they're like, I see you're having a good time smiley face. And I replied with like, oh, who is this? Basically it turned out it was one of my dad's friends, but because both of us were under the same iCloud email, because like he obviously uses his email and then I use his as well, we both received each other's text messages. It was really weird. But yeah, that kind of happened to me, but then like it wasn't. It's the same, but like different, but I can relate to her honestly. On today's 
episode of Men Are Trash. I was dating a guy pretty seriously for six months and we were long distance. Long distance, oh God, I've had so many long distance relationships. Whenever I was like 13 or 14, I dated a girl who literally lived in my area, but I never met up with her. We literally dated online, but like we never met up in person. I did kind of see her once in person and I just like ran off. And yes, we were monogamous or so I thought. Might be important to mention, but he was in the Marine Corps. And as I've discovered as a woman in the Marine Corps myself, now a veteran, a lot of those mother uh, trash. Wait, what is monogamous? Is that what she said? Okay, so I looked it up and it basically means they're only seeing each other. So basically like a normal relationship, not an open one. So I flew in from Arizona to North Carolina to have a romantic, nice little weekend together. We ate dinner, we laughed, we had fun, we had sex. It was great, I thought. And then I went home. Okay, so she went home and something's obviously happened. I mean, the army, police, men, firefighters, them boys are awful sometimes. I just love how they literally like, you know, they save people and then like they go back to their like relationships and they're like assholes. So I'm on the plane right home and I kind of notice that things are starting to get a little itchy down there. Like I've never experienced before. And that shit starts to get worse and worse. So he's given her something. What has this poor woman been given? Like my coochie was on fire. I knew something was wrong so I went to the doctor. Sure enough the doctor comes out and she's like hey. And she was like you have chlamydia my dear. And I was like what the f Because I'd only been with one dude. So sure enough I confronted the mother and of course that dumbass denied it. Of course he's gonna deny it. Like that's so common. Can guys get chlamydia? Like, is it only girls and guys or is it guys and guys? There's so many STDs out there. Honestly, just put a condom on and be careful. Get tested. He lied to the wrong bitch. Cheated on me with seven other women. Seven other women? So it's bad enough to like, he done it with one and gave you a disease. Seven other women. That reminds me of my last TikTok cheaters video. Basically, a guy was like speaking to 40 women at a time. I'm telling you, these men have no chill. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. If you're new, press a big red subscribe button and Jess, I'll see you all in the next video.